Today, a new documentary was screened in Philadelphia. Invisible Warriors takes an in-depth look at the 600,000 African-American Rosie the Riveters. Our Dan Koob has this story. Made me feel patriotic. Gregory S. Cook believes we have a historical blind spot. The iconic image of Rosie the Riveter doing that is of a white woman. Invisible Warriors, African-American Women of World War II is a documentary directed by Cook that is the culmination of a nine-year journey to recognize those who served at home, including his late mother. They also made a serious contribution to American history and culture um, because of what they did during World War II. And this is our way of recognizing them. Mayor Jim Kenney awarded gifts to the stars of the show who once worked the assembly lines and built aircrafts. You are invisible no longer. Um. And that belt just keep rolling, so whether you had to take care of your personal business or what have you, you still had to work. Gwendolyn Faison, the former mayor of Camden, is featured in this documentary. She will turn 94 years old on Valentine's Day and says this film is important to remind or educate people about the incredibly important role African-American women played in winning World War II. I notice people do not read their history and they don't really understand what went on, uh, what you did as a younger person or uh, as a person in another capacity. Six Rosies were honored at the premiere. I'm Rosie Ruth the Riveter. Including Ruth Wilson, chosen as the new Rosie, modeling this image when she was 89 years old. We helped to win it by doing the work that men did. The documentary will be available by the end of the year. Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.